says it's 21 degrees. Still got some frost on the ground. That was a good day's work. chilly out here this morning. I'm gonna get the heat going, move some of the stuff out of the way, and then uh, get working on taking some of these bumpers off. Funny story I was thinking about as I was taking this uh, hitch off is uh, I remember putting this hitch on. I was at an old house I lived at before this one. And uh, a friend of mine named Ray and I were out there and I think he was on his, he wanted to buy like a Volvo or something that he had his eyes on up in like DC and I had a trailer that I could borrow from my wife's father and I had the old blue truck she was three quarter ton she could pull it but all I had was the bumper I didn't have a hitch so we went out to Napa bought this hitch and uh, he came over it was like a Friday night we started working on it it was already late when he got here um, <laughs> we were putting this hitch on it ended up being like I don't know 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning but you know how it is in the shop you know you got the music jamming you're hanging out with a buddy not paying attention to what time it was so it's like Friday night 2 a.m. I'm sitting under there with the DAC DAC just da -da 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 -da, just screaming making a ton of noise running these up as far as we can so that we can go pick up this car the next morning and our my neighbor comes out and I hear something I'm up underneath the truck. I kind of stop. I listen. Thought I heard something, so I went back to uh, running the impact. And I heard something again, so I stopped again. I said, "Ray, you hear something?" He gets up and looks around. It was my neighbor. She had walked across. Really, really nice old lady. And I felt bad, but she walked across and was like yelling my name. So I got out real quick. I'm like, "Oh man, something must be wrong." So I get out, I walk over, I say, hey, you know, what, what's going on? And she said, um, do you know what time it is? And I was like, uh, no, ma'am, I don't. Um, I, I haven't looked at time in a while. And she was like, it's 2 a.m. Um, I'm okay with you working on stuff, but can you call it around 2 a.m.? And I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> I had no idea it was 2 a.m., so I immediately I wrapped up what we were doing. But... Uh, <laughs> It's just funny, listen, just thinking about this hitch has been on here since then. And right now, my buddy Ray is on his way back over here to come check this thing out. So it was just kind of one of those funny stories I was thinking about. All right, I got the bumpers off. Um, they came off easy as could be. And all I did was spray the stuff on here last night. Uh, this morning, they came out like pretty much new bolts. So I don't even know if I'm using this stuff correctly, but this is it. Heavy duty silicone, multiple use silicone lubricant, CRC. I just randomly picked it up in the store the other day. And it doesn't even, I was expecting it to be kind of like white lithium grease or something, but it sprays on like brake cleaner almost. Um, I was pretty unsure about it when I first used it, but uh, everything I've sprayed with this comes off great. So I'm gonna buy some more of this stuff, keep using it. Guess I'm gonna start pulling the electrical over off the old rig onto the new one.
Okay, got all the wiring out of the truck that I'm going to transfer over. I'll uh, give you a look at it here. Uh, this one that went back to the rear lights. That is the jumper line that runs over from tank to tank. As you can see they're pretty cruddy and nasty and some uh, sheathings missing. I marked a couple of them, but most of them were all pretty obvious. That long red line goes to the passenger side tank. Uh, that's most of the harness that goes around the back side of the engine to the starter and the alternator. Distributor, that's the main that goes through the firewall, and then that's the entire front harness that goes to the lights, driver side and passenger side lights. So I'll put you on a faster time lapse because I'm sure this will take forever, but I'm going to go through and try to clean this up the best I can. Um, I'm just going to spray some of this bug and tar remover. Maybe that will help uh, soak it a little bit and I'll come back through with just something light like this uh, interior detail and wipe it all down. And then address some of the open wires and then while it's fresh in my head, transfer it all over to the truck. Even uh, if I don't hook it all up, at least I'll put it over here so I, I know where it goes. My buddy Ray just left, uh, had stopped, a little Sunday chat with him. That was good, hadn't seen him in a while. But uh, he helped me put the wiring on the other side, on the other chassis, so that was nice. Thanks, Ray, for the help. So all the wiring is gone off the old truck. And I got it transferred over loosely. This is the front end stuff for the lights. This goes to the firewall. Got it uh, kind of loosely wrapped around where it's supposed to go here. And coming down the side of the frame. So now I just need to put all the clips in and tidy all this up. I did clean it. I think I got that on time lapse. It turned out all right. It's not perfect, but uh, it's better than it was. So I'm going to tidy up all the wires and then kind of get into this rat's nest, take everything off, delete all the stuff I don't need, and try to make the wiring as clean as possible so I can move on to the next step. So that's where I'm finishing off today. Another Sunday down in the books. Chilly morning this morning. It's Saturday. It says it's 21 degrees. Still got some frost on the ground. You know it's time to get to work. I came out a little bit earlier this morning and turned my heat on. This thing's uh, pretty cool. Runs off propane. Everything's warm in here, so if you're looking for a decent heater for a shop and you got propane already, you can run one of these. They're pretty cool. Anyways, let's get started on this thing. Um, fuel is next. I did the wiring in the last video. I also need to put the starter on. Got a lot of little stuff. I'm thinking I will clean these as they sit on the truck because it'll probably be a little bit easier since they're all bolted down. Clean them up the best they can best I can and then take it off disassemble these and then probably take this frame and roll it out back out of the way then I can treat and paint the tanks underneath the cab all at once that's what I'm gonna try to get done today if I can
got fuel tanks off. Hopefully you saw most of that. Um, just for reference here, if you're trying to do this stuff yourself, I take no responsibility if you copy me. I'm not doing it the right way. I'm just doing it the way that I want to. I did use a brass brush and tried to limit when I cut the straps using the Sawzall. So do it at your own risk. Um, got both tanks off. Got them partially cleaned up. I think I've pretty much got everything off of the truck that I want except for this valve. So I'll probably take that off. The shop definitely needs a little bit of a cleanup. It's a wreck in here. So probably roll this outside after I get that valve off. And then I will clean up the shop a little bit, kind of reset. Well, as you can see, I decided to put the cab up top, get a better look at it. I'm glad I did because there's some rust repair on that cab that I'm probably gonna have to address. Now's the time to do it. If, as long as I can get a little bit of metal in, I'll probably go ahead and pick some of the spots that are harder to get to once I have it back on the truck and the bed and everything on. So, but for now, I'm gonna get up underneath there, clean everything up in decent shape so that I can treat it I'll probably do the same things to these tanks real quick. That was a good day's work. Productive, a lot done. Almost time to go take a shower now, but uh, I did get a lot of stuff cleaned up. Let's take a look. Got the brackets all cleaned up, ready to be wiped down and painted. The cab looks much better than it did. Let me grab a uh, flashlight so you can see it a little better. Looks much better than it did when I started. It's not perfect, but I gotta start somewhere.
should be able to wipe it down with some degreaser and put a little OSFO on it, stop it from rusting, and then uh, paint it underneath. Driver side's in pretty good shape. You got one little rust spot here, which I'll repair. This rocker's in good shape. The driver side is a spot where I'm gonna have to do some repair. Let's see if I can order a rocker. <clears throat> rocker's pretty toast on this side. The worst part's this cab corner. So I was thinking going ahead and repairing this while I'm in here because otherwise the bed will be in the way and going up and repairing this section. So I'll, uh, I'll look for some metal. If I can't find any, I'll just make it from scratch, but it's easier if I got some metal to start with. Got those all straight, got the tanks right. Uh, same thing, it's a little bit of OSFO treatment and then uh, give them some paint to keep them from rusting anymore. Clean the shop out a little bit. Looking a little bit better in here. That's it for today. Paint tomorrow.